Are you ready to hustle? I need to hustle, hustle. Welcome to The Hustle with Justin Harrison, the ultimate podcast for money, motivation, and inspiration. Hustlers, the single most common question I get about business is how to raise capital. This week, I've been absolutely swamped with hustlers asking how to get investors. Hi, Justin. Good evening. Hope you are doing well. Uh, this is Lyle. I sent you a message on the a live that you were on TikTok last night. It's regarding my business. I just wanted to find out, man. I, I registered my own medical company. I sell medical and surgical goods. Um, the clientele is the the funds are not the um, and I'm looking to grow so I just moved into my own place but it's just expenses and expenses and expenses and it's more than what I what I can chew off at the moment um, I'm looking for an investor or how do I go about looking for investing you said it's not a good idea I should reach out on whatsapp so um, let me know what I can do in order to get some capital somewhere just to get into the business or get um, because uh, there's a lot of potential and it's 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 huge for growth so and I'm looking to grow I'm looking into turning it into a big play in the market so um, looking forward to your response thanks so much Hustlers, if you have a burning question that you'd like featured on the podcast, send me a WhatsApp on 081-750-2349. That's 081-750-2349. Or you can send me an email at moneytribe21 at gmail.com. So let's address the elephant in the room. I don't believe you should ever, ever, ever take on investors. Let me explain why. It is really easy to raise capital for a business without giving a percentage of your business up to an investor. Investors are like parasites feeding off the best ideas and hard work of others. They provide no real value other than capital. Investors will literally make you an employee in your own business. And you should never ever confuse an investor with a partner. An investor purely provides capital whereas a partner provides capital as well as other things that they contribute to the business and are actively involved. So if you're going to take on capital and give up a percentage of your business, you're not looking for an investor, you're looking for a partner, somebody who is fully committed and fully invested into the process as much as you. I have personally bootstrapped 109 businesses and I've never taken on a single rand or dollar in investors money. I have used my own money, my own knowledge and my own acumen to build businesses without ever having to go to an investor. Because when you truly understand what you're looking for as a business, an investor isn't it. There is only one thing that every business needs to be successful and to get off the ground. Customers. You don't need an investor. What you need is customers willing to pay you for your product or service. And I can personally promise you this. If you get enough pre-sales orders, if you sign enough contracts, you can use those contracts and pre-sale orders to go and raise capital either directly through the banks or through private funding. Most people want to take the easy route. They want to secure an investor so that they can set up a fancy office, that they can create the perfect premises, stock those premises full of supply, and then they want to worry about getting the customers. This is completely ass about face. I have created 109 businesses and if there's one piece of advice I can give you, Figure out how to get the business first and then worry about how to supply. And because I've heard this objection a million times before and no, I'm not reading your mind. The question is, how do you go out and sell something that you don't currently have? How do you present something to the customer that you don't currently have? And this is where you're about to learn that traditional thinking has got you absolutely snookered. If it's a concept, you create a prototype with your own money. If it's an actual product that already exists, you go and purchase a demo unit. And if you can't afford a demo unit, you go to the suppliers and you beg, borrow, and you tell them about your business plan and invest them into your idea and get them to supply you with demo stock. 
If that fails, you approach the suppliers and you find out if you can become a commission only salesperson. This gets you into the market immediately without having to outlay any capital and get you straight into the game. And in my experience, there is very little that can't be sold from a catalog. In fact, this is the quickest and easiest way to get into the marketplace without having to outlay capital. Seeking an investor is the lazy way to start a business. If you wanna truly be successful, Trust me when I say this, you have to figure out how to work with what you have and not focus on what you don't have. You have to figure out how to grow your business organically and let actual customers fund the growth of your business. Hustlers, if you're finding value from this content, please make sure you leave us a rating on your favorite podcasting app and make sure that you subscribe and follow on your favorite app so that you never miss an episode of The Hustle. So get out there, do the time, do the work, and remember to operate as lean as possible. Keep those expenses to an absolute bare minimum. And the golden rule is, hustle makes muscle. Stay motivated by The Hustle. Talkers talk, but hustlers hustle. Find more episodes at ecr.co.za or your favorite podcast app.